what's up everybody, Sense here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my first video on CSGO, and for my first video on CSGO I thought I would just bring you guys a video about my inventory. So to start it off, I'm going to start off with quality. So here we've got the Aug Chameleon Field Tested. This I got as my first red, and I just was a little bit scrubby at the game, so I wanted a red, so my first instinct was the Chameleon. And then we've got what, something what everybody wants in the game, a knife. I managed to get this knife for my birthday, which was a few days ago. It's got knife or mask field tested. It doesn't look as bad, even though it is field tested. I think it looks pretty nice to use in the game. But on to the next one, we've got an AK red line that I bought, and it was entitled Designated Bottom with a bunch of stickers. But it, it, I think it looks pretty nice with the stickers. It's for Virtus Pro, and yep, then... This was my favorite M4 skin since I saw the game, but now it's probably the Hyper Beast, and it's the Guardian. I got this field tested, but if you look at this thing here, the only real scratches are down at the mag, which is actually pretty good for a gun being field tested. Then we've got the Famas Pulse, and this was when I was back until like I was getting like $5, and I just wanted a bunch of purples, and I got the Famas Pulse field tested. And the Famas Pulse is one of the nicest purples I've seen out there. This was on a different, like maybe an AK or something that would look better to me, but... I don't use the FAMAS that much. Then we've got the Glock 18 grinder. You know, you, you gotta have a starting pistol for each side. So I got the grinder because it's purple. It looks pretty nice in my opinion. Then we got the MP7 Ocean Foam. I also got this when I was really into purples, and this is the only purple MP7 out there. It looks pretty nice. I think I got this as. What is this? This is Factory New yep. Then we got the P250 Supernova, which I acquired in a trade. And I ended up, I think, earning money in that one, so it was a pretty good trade. Then we got the P90 Virus, another, I got a bunch of SMG purples when I was into the purples and stuff, so this is a virus, I think it actually looks pretty nice for purple. Along with the Grand Prix, I got this like right when Chroma 2 came out, it was worth like an 80 cents, but I think it still looks pretty nice, even though it's field tested, it looked great factory new. Then this is probably my favorite pistol skin in the entire game, but as you can see it's field tested right there, the USPS Guardian. It's field tested because I used this in a trade and I ended up making money, I gave, I had like a factory new one, but the field tested doesn't bother me. Then we got the Glock 18 Blue Fisher, I believe, and I won this off a bet on CSGO Lounge. I bet like three skins worth a dollar, ended up putting three dollars in, I got like a dollar fifty out on Fnatic. Then we got the Negev Man of War, and you know, I, I always sold my Negev skins, and the Man of War came out, and I think I got this a few weeks ago, it was worth like 20 cents, so I'm like, hey, I just get the Negev skins, Man of War, and it's a uh, man, so it's not that bad. And then we got an SSG slash Stat Track, I got this one, the one in the SG skin, and the Stat Track wasn't that much, so I just got this. Got 700 kills on there, because I was bored playing Deathmatch for a while. And then we got the Tech 9 Isaac Field Tested Stat Track. Got 517 kills on there because I was also bored playing Deathmatch, but I got a lot of these from playing comp because I use the Tech 9 a lot. And I won this off CSGO Lounge on the same bet that I won the Blue Fisher off. Then we got an Op Safari Match Field Tested. I mean, it looks like crap, but I just wanted it in Op Skin, you know what I mean? I just wanted an Op Skin to use, and this was the cheapest one available. And finally, we have the. Auto Sniper Polar Camo. I got this off a drop and I just didn't feel like selling it because I didn't have a skin for it. So I just kept it. But that's pretty much it for my inventory. And if you guys want to see more CSGO videos, just let me know down in the comment section below. Never leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with a view of my knife.